Let's talk about Jurgen Klopp possibly being the US men's national team coach and why this is important to you, me and the rest of the footballing world. Jurgen Klopp has not long left Liverpool Football Club, obviously a team that I care a lot about. And I spent a little bit of time working in CONCACAF for about three or four years. I made one of the biggest podcasts in that area of the world about 10 years ago now. And obviously I love Liverpool. I've gone and witnessed some CONCACAF competitions. I love America in the first place, or at least what I think is America. And of course... Jurgen Klopp being part of football is something that I can back, just not in the Premier League, unless it was for Liverpool. Obviously, he's never going to come back to the Premier League. Obviously, he's done what he needs to do in Bundesliga. I don't particularly think Serie A would be a big pull to him. I don't know if working for someone like Real Madrid would particularly fit him as a character, especially considering some of the things he said in very recent history. So, international football possibly calls. And if you manage outside of the place that you ultimately want to manage, which, let's be honest, is possibly German football, though maybe he is still waiting on that job, then what would be better than doing it in, well, first of all, a federation where the football is good, right? And by the way, CONCACAF is different to Comnibol. Those two are two very different areas of the world. America obviously got involved in the South American version of things, but wasn't necessarily, like, isn't or isn't, or isn't always tied into those two things. I think they got a good reality check of where their US men's national team really is, but, you know, what that really means, I don't know. Down the years, they've had, obviously, a lot of ethereal characters dip in and out. Jürgen Klinsmann, uh, there have been plenty of other, uh, like the Bob Bradley types, should we say, kind of coaches who are American coaches who clearly deserve opportunities, who clearly should be respected for what they do, but maybe aren't able to manage their overall cohesive vision and take them in a specific direction. And they needed a big character. They need a big character like Klopp to come in. They need someone who everyone can get behind. And ultimately, similar to Klinsmann, who has a football heritage and has winning football in their very recent past, to be able to point to and say, this is what I'm going with here. What is it that you've done again? Mainly because American football, or f soccer in America, is very split in the first place. And Klopp is an incredible unifying factor. Of course, I would hate to see him manage another club side, because it would be kind of weird seeing him in someone else's colours. I feel like that's some sort of parallel universe I'm not quite ready to dip into. But to see him manage the US, with the World Cup being there in a couple of years, guarantees that he's going to be there. We're a richer footballing world for having Jurgen Klopp involved in football in the first place. The US men's national team is a grossly underdeveloped power in the first place. One that I think, you know, having a strong host, even though obviously it's Mexico, US and, the, and Canadians, the Canadians seem to be doing pretty well at the moment. Those are the guys that I got into CONCACAF through. Uh, Mexico, always a kind of ever present superpower, but also not a superpower in the way that we maybe envision them. And then obviously the core hosts of this, the US, the guys who, you know, they want to be at the center of this. They roll, they rule basketball. They rule, I don't know if they rule baseball. Maybe Japan rules baseball, but they rule baseball. They rule, obviously, American football. And they rule hockey. I don't know if they rule, do they rule hockey? Let me know, Russians and other countries that play hockey out there. Anyway, uh, Canada. Anyway, the point is, right, Jurgen Klopp and himself would fit international football. Bear with me for a second. More recently, I think a lot of people said, oh, well, he wouldn't suit international football because pressing as a system is very hard to do in the first place. Well, I get it. Like, you know, pressing is quite tricky, but Klopp is a specialist in pressing. Klopp is someone who his very ethos and his very ideas, even though we've seen players who've taken months to bed in some of these systems, for international football can be adjusted, can be changed. He is someone who pioneered a lot of these techniques in modern football. He didn't pioneer them initially, he pioneered them in modern football and how to apply them in modern football with extremely fit athletes, with extreme um, organization. He's also managed to get the best out of those systems. And we've seen with teams such as Austria more recently, a country very close to Germany, obviously, uh, pioneer, you know, again, sort of, I'm not pioneer, but again, they've, they've been out there and are making the most of what pressing gives you to make up the numbers, to make up numbers in the aggregate or whatever you want it to cast shadows out in the field that are going to scare the opposition to mean that the players who aren't as good technically as the players who are incredible technically can make up some of those gaps to make matches more interesting to make people your dark horse, people appreciate effort, all these kind of things, but they also appreciate watching a manager who cares about what it is that they're doing. All of these things Jurgen Klopp 
embodies all these things. Jurgen Klopp is. He speaks brilliant English. The Germans and the Americans, they've clearly had a Klinsmann type character before. I don't think they're averse to that kind of thing. He's someone who has always gotten the best out of players. I know he's dropped a couple of guys from different teams. You can always drop and move on from certain players. And the US men's national team is kind of primed for that. They at Liverpool made a, a great system that was built around the intensity of a lot of what Jurgen Klopp had done down the years, what he was trying to do. It made a ready-made set of players who were able to come into the Liverpool team, enact exactly what Klopp was trying to achieve, and do something which a lot of other people didn't think was possible. They had a direct passage on multiple different levels between the, the academy level and, of course, the level that Klopp wanted the players to be at. And those two things are you got to weigh them up, right? Like, very often it's very difficult to find a multiple of academy players who can get into the Liverpool first team. Anyway. <laughs> Just let me finish the part of the video and then, I'll, and then I'll come play with Batman, all right? Anyway, the point is that Jurgen Klopp is very perfectly suited to international football. He is a... How can I put it? Like he is a figure that people can get around and build with. He is a figure that is uniting in the way that he is. He is someone who I imagine a lot of the players would dream of playing under. And he is someone who within the CONCACAF type setup can thrive because guess what? He's a big fish in a pond, which probably suits his level of like fame and notoriety, should we say. And he's also someone who the American press would eat up. Like, I mean, they'd eat everything out of the palm of his hands. They would love this guy. They'd love the things he say. They'd love the things that he does. They'd love the intensity. They'd love the effort. He's the kind of person who would be amazing for podcasts, TV appearances. He's someone who could live in America year round, who could also then also remain in Europe, but still be flying over. There's so many different reasons why Jurgen Klopp would be so perfectly suited for America. And of course, he's a great media personality. And of course, he's someone who's progressive in terms of his management. And he's someone who could probably work with a bunch of different coaches from a lot of different setups to progress football yet again. Now, obviously, Pep Lynch has gone to other kinds of football. There are other people who made Liverpool great, great coaches, great specialists down the years. Klopp would have at his disposal a number of great specialists and a whole new blank canvas under the men's national team to be able to go and just do Whatever it was that he wanted to do as Jurgen Klopp. He doesn't need to play in the Premier League anymore and be up against Pep. He doesn't need to try and take on a superpower of Bayern Munich. He needs to take on a superpower in terms of just legacy and the shape of those international teams, such as Germany's, England's, all those levels of players. He is good at bridging the gap in terms of quality because of what the press has done in the game, because of what his style of football, his ideas in football have done in the game. Because, of course, he's someone who's able to coach through some of the issues that some of these guys have and not just throw people out. Uh, attitude, I think, was a big one for Klopp. I'd be interested to know what American attitudes are towards Jürgen, uh, what, she, what people's attitudes are towards how he would approach the players. Of course, a couple of players have been out in the past. Mamadou Sacco, Fabio Carvalho, a few guys who basically said, I want to play some more football. I want to do it differently to the way that you want to do it. And he basically said, cool, I don't have time for that. I've got to be enact enacting things immediately. There was kind of a Pep Guardiola... Uh, Joe Hart type setup there. Anyway, the point is that Jurgen Klopp is the perfect guy for US men's national team football. He fits in with the basketball, he fits in with American football, he fits in with the culture, and he's going to bring a European twist to all of this. I'd love to know what you guys think. Someone agrees. I'll see you again on the channel here right now. And by the way, it's way less painful for Liverpool fans if he goes to the US men's national team than if he goes to another national team squad. Love you guys. See you in a bit. I'll bye.